Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna clean up this Johnny Bench, this vintage 1960s, 1970s Johnny Bench mitt that I purchased on eBay for my father-in-law who's a big Johnny Bench fan. I'm gonna be using what's called Lexol Leather Deep Cleaner. Um, from all of my research that I've done uh, and experience with cleaning leather products, this is probably the creme de la creme of leather cleaners. Um, I've used stuff like saddle soap and, you know, what have you. But this is pH balanced, meaning that it's neither acidic or basic. Um, and it's pretty gentle. Um, a little bit goes a long way. And that's kind of the motto when cleaning leather products in general especially if they're a vintage mitt like this. So a little bit will go a long way. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Um, all right, come on, let's go clean this mitt. Okay, so I'm inside my kitchen right now, and usually I would do this cleaning kind of stuff outside, um, but it's pretty windy, and so it's gonna mess up my audio. And so I brought all this stuff inside my kitchen on the hardwood floor. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. All right, so I have a bowl of hot water here, or warm. Um, I like to use warm water when cleaning things. I feel like it does a slightly better job at cleaning, taking out some of the old grease and everything. I have my Lexol Leather Deep Cleaner. And here is the mitt that I'm gonna be cleaning, the Johnny Bench for my father-in-law. And then I have uh, two uh, microfiber cloths. You could pretty much use any kind of cloth, like terry cloths or whatever. Um, but I have these microfiber ones that I got, you know, a big pack from Costco. And so I'm gonna use that. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna kind of wet this mitt with, with the warm water. So I'm gonna dunk this cloth in here. You don't want to get it too wet, but you want to just get it wet enough, okay? And I think there's a lot of myths about, you know, getting leather wet and that it completely destroys the leather. And I think it really depends on what you do to the mitt after you've gotten it wet. So you don't want to, you know, get a mitt soaked or get your leather soaking wet and then like stick it in a plastic bag and let it mold out. What you wanna do is you wanna let it dry and then you wanna condition it. Um, otherwise, you know, by adding oils and that kind of stuff to it. So there's no problem in getting leather wet. It's just what you do after you get it wet. So I'm just uh, kind of wiping away some of this surface dirt and otherwise just getting the mitt a little bit wet here. And you really gotta put a little bit of elbow grease. You know, get through all the, the crevices in this mitt. There's a lot of dust here and a lot of dirt, I can tell. I may need to change out my water. And I'm guessing that this is just the preliminary cleaning because once I start relacing it, I may be able to take out some of the, the parts and clean them a little bit better than right now. But I want to get a lot of the surface dirt off. Inside's actually in pretty good condition. The leather is pretty good. I've seen gloves, especially from the newer Rawlings gloves, that the inside is just completely destroyed. Um, I don't know whether it's a leather quality or, or what, but uh, the old Rawling gloves are definitely made from better leather than the newer ones, unless you get to the to the high-end, you know, Rawlings gloves, Heart of the Hide or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and start using some of the cleaner. All right, so I never spray the glove with cleaner. I always spray my cloth and then apply the cleaner to the glove. So I just squirted two squirts of the cleaner. Um, so not a lot at all, and that's gonna kind of it's gonna go a long way here, I think. So some quick strokes, you know, 
Uh, really, you just want to kind of dislodge the dirt and get into all the little creases here. You know, this glove is in, you know, pretty decent shape. The grommets, you know, aren't rusting out or anything like that. So it's pretty good, actually. Now that I'm taking off some of the surface dirt, I'm starting to see, you know, a little bit of the color coming back to the glove. The original color, which is nice. I think the, uh, the original Johnny Bench mitt, uh, the one that Johnny Bench actually used, he probably used many mitts, but the one that I've seen that he used um, was actually, so the front was the same as this mitt, but the back, instead of it being a fastback model like this, um, it was actually a wingtip model, um, or he had a wingtip back on it, which is pretty cool. Um, you don't see a lot of catcher's mitts uh, with the wingtip. So I got a clean bowl of water here and now I'm just going to wet my cloth a little bit and try to get some of the soap off. Um, you don't have to get all of it off, I mean you just kind of wipe it down again. You know that's kind of why we use this you know zero pH, neutral pH soap is so that in case you leave a little bit on it's not gonna hurt the leather but of course you want to try to get as much of it off as you can So I've done pretty good here in getting off all of the soap. And now all you want to do is you want to let this mitt dry, okay? And you're not going to do anything crazy like stick it in the oven or the microwave oven or anything like that. Just let it sit there and dry. You know, set it down like this so that the airflow gets kind of underneath it. Um, and you're just going to want to let this thing dry, okay? And, uh, and we'll come back and we'll do, we'll do the uh, conditioning of this mitt. <laughs> 